a man who mentored many at-risk youths in the Williamsport area, is being remembered. Today is Wednesday, August 28th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Partly sunny today with severe thunderstorms possible, a high in the 90s. Some residents in Turboville are not happy about a proposed solar array. The Daily Item reports residents from Turboville and Lewis Township spoke out at a recent public meeting. Susquehanna Solar wants to install 59,000 solar panels on 79 acres of land shared by both municipalities. The company has already purchased the land. Concerns were expressed about increased traffic, lower property values, and more. The Daily Item reports a proposed poultry processing plant near Turboville has been temporarily shut down due to permit violations. The company USA Poultry of Mount Pleasant has already received approval for the plant. Two people on a motorcycle were treated for non-life-threatening injuries following a collision on Route 118 in Lycoming County's Wolf Township. A motorcycle and SUV were traveling in the same direction when the SUV stopped for a vehicle in front of them. The motorcycle rear-ended the SUV. The driver of the bike and his teenage stepson were thrown. Both were wearing helmets and were taken to an area hospital. The accident occurred at Route 118 and Green Valley Road. A Kogan station man who allegedly threatened a bouncer with a machete is now jailed on assault charges. James Carr and a woman were ordered out of the Valley Inn on Valley Street in Du Bois Town after they got into a physical altercation inside the bar. When the bouncer went to the parking lot to check on the woman, Carr allegedly pulled out a machete and made threats that included the use of a handgun. Carr and the woman left the scene but were stopped in Williamsport. He's now jailed on charges that include aggravated assault and terroristic threats. After decades in the planning, a road improvement project in Center County is about to get underway. Construction of the long-awaited high-speed interchange between Interstates 80 and 99 will begin Wednesday, September 4th. The high-speed interchange will be constructed in the area of the current Belfont Interstate 80 exit. Once completed, it will eliminate the need to travel along Route 26 to access either highway. PennDOT reports the project will take place over the next six construction seasons. The 53rd Annual Labor Day Regatta is this weekend in Lock Haven. From August 30th to September 2nd, there will be boat races on the Susquehanna River, food and craft vendors, live music, and a carnival. And a man who mentored many young people in the Williamsport area is being remembered. Lonnie Gamble died on August 4th at the age of 69. Gamble was a musician and had a lengthy music career where he toured the world as a lead guitarist with the group The Stylistics. In 2002, he founded a program in Williamsport, now known as the Community Alliance for Positive Progressive Action, a youth intervention and development project. CAPA provided scholarship mentorships, gang prevention tips, and computer instructions for at-risk youth. He also created programs to build self-esteem and provided opportunities for at-risk youth through music and performing arts. A Celebration of Life Memorial will be held at City Church in Williamsport on September 14th. For the latest in news and events, head on over to NorthCentralPA.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.